Has this ever happened to you? Borderlands 3 is a baby game. Where's the challenge? This is the easiest shit in the world. Well, look no further than this challenge, which will make Borderlands 3 so hard you'll never want to play again. Seriously, I never want to play this fucking game again. Can I beat Borderlands 3 without taking any damage? Fuck no, that'd be goddamn impossible. Luckily, the goal of this challenge isn't to beat the game, but I'll get back to that. First off, look at this health. That's so much, I don't need all of that. Get that shit out of here. There's a relic in the game that'll set my health to one, so I'm gonna be using that. The problem is there's no way to get that artifact at the beginning of the game, so I'll have to edit my save file. Alright, now I have the artifact, but my artifact slot isn't available. I'll have to edit that too. Okay, now I can equip the- that's the wrong artifact. Okay, I don't even know how this happened. Okay, I have the right artifact. As you can see, I now only have one health. I hope you like this blood on the screen, because it, it's just never going away. The artifact has some other abilities too, but they won't matter. If anything, the reduced magazine size made this even harder. I followed Claptrap to Shiv's Bandits and the run began. Here's how it works. I have one health and no shield. If I take any damage, I will immediately be put into fight for your life. When that happens, I'll quit to the main menu, everyone I killed will respawn, and I'll have to try again. Anytime I reach a new use station, it'll count as a checkpoint, because that's where I'll spawn when I reload the game. I chose Flak because he can turn invisible and has an animal companion that'll fight for him. You might be thinking, couldn't you just hide behind cover and let the pet kill everybody? Yeah, I could. Or I could not be a little bitch. Now let me just get one thing straight. I am not the hero of this story. There is no way my glass cannon fragile can't even walk off a couple gunshot wounds bitch ass is gonna save Pandora. No. The real hero of the story is a beautiful, muscular mountain of a man. A man so badass he became the leader of his own bandit clan. The unstoppable juggernaut himself, Vaughn! Who'd you think I was talking about? That's right, the goal of this run is to rescue Vaughn and then escape this godforsaken hellhole of a planet. Okay, uh, the biggest problem with this is the fact that I keep running out of ammo. <laughs> Just kidding. The biggest problem is the fact that I die in one hit. Maybe if I slide down here, I can get some cover. Okay, maybe if I hide behind this car and jump... Alright, I gotta be honest, I wasn't expecting it to be this hard. Oh, I leveled up. And I have my action skill now. Now I just have to turn invisible and kill everybody. The great thing about this place is that once you clear an area of bandits, they don't respawn. So I only have to worry about clearing one room at a time. With my action skill, the second area didn't take very long and it was time to fight Shiv. Yeah, I just need to stay back- OH FUCK! Alright, this might be a little rough. Oh, okay, or yeah, or I'll just kill him the second try. After that, I met Lilith and more bandits showed up. Together, we killed them all and cleared out the outpost. Now I need to go to the former Sun Smasher camp and rescue Vaughn. But first, I want to see if I can get a sniper. I need to do a side quest to unlock the vending machine, but that shouldn't be too hard. Okay, that went worse than it should have. Alright, I have access to the vending machine. Let's see if I can buy a snipe. Uh. Oh, okay. Well, I'm 100% buying that. There aren't any snipers, so I'm gonna reload the game and reset the shop. Okay, what the fuck? Let me reload it again. Okay, so I can get four legendary shotguns in a row, but I can't get a sniper? Fuck it, let's get Vaughn. Now this part may look hard, but by using my fadeaway ability and hiding behind cover, it's honestly not that bad. I didn't even need to fight the last few enemies, I just turned invisible and ran past them. Somehow, I managed to get through this entire section on my first try. Are you sure about that? What? <laughs> of, of course I'm sure. Editor, what are you doing? Hey, bad editor! No!
Thanks, editor. You're a total dick. <clears throat> yeah, uh, I, I edit my own videos. After freeing Vaughn, I had to escort him to Lilith. Now that I've rescued Pandora's one true savior, Lilith wants me to infiltrate the Holy Broadcast Center and recover the Vault Key map thing. Look, if it'll get me off this fucking rock sooner, then I'll do it. Now you might be asking, hey, doesn't that mean you have to fight Mouthpiece, that guy with massive AoE attacks that are hard to dodge in an open arena with barely any cover that has minions that show up during the fight and has invincibility phases? What's your plan for that guy? Do I really look like a guy with a plan? So that's a dumb question. Anyway, in order to get there, I need a car. Hey Ellie, you got a car? I have to steal one? What fucking good are you? All I have to do is fight through a few bandits and then hijack a car. How hard could that be? My fellow soldiers will tell you I'm a terrible shot. Okay, turns out there's just one over here I can get in. Now that I have a car, I can actually take some hits without dying. The feeling of not getting one shot by any toddler strong enough to hit me with a toy hammer was similar to the feeling of taking your socks off when you get home, overthrowing a totalitarian regime, or drinking an ice-cold glass of water on a hot day. It felt good. That feeling didn't last long though as I made it to the Ascension Bluff and had to infiltrate the Holy Broadcast Center. If I had to describe this section in a word, it would be, fuck this game. Even getting past the first few enemies is rough, but once I get past them, new enemies only spawn once I'm out in the open and I get surrounded. Then I try to run over here, but I get trapped. It definitely doesn't help that the sniper I have isn't very accurate. My SMG doesn't kill them very fast. Oh. I don't care if I die. I'm getting that. A Maggie? A fucking Maggie? AKA the hand cannon shotgun revolver of super murder death, the super accurate shotgun pistol with almost no spread with bullets that ricochet to other enemies when they crit? It would appear that RN Jesus has smiled down upon me so I can absolutely shit on these bandits. Okay, or I'll still die a lot. But then finally I decided that the best strategy was to hide behind cover and just wait for Fade Away to come back so I don't get hit. And I made it inside to the next checkpoint. I picked up a lot of items during that last section, so I'm gonna sell those. Huh. A fastball. One of the best grenade mods in the game. Nice. I fought my way through the inside of the broadcast center, which was way easier than the outside. And uh, yeah, I just completely ignored the last group of enemies- oh fuck. Well, I guess I'm fighting mouthpiece. Shit, fastball is busted. I mean, I know I died and I have to try again, but god damn, at least I know how to beat him now. Oh, okay, or he doesn't respawn. Well, now that I have the vault key, I need to take it to Tannis. You may wait outside and steal anything not nailed down. While I was stealing her shit, the COV showed up and immediately killed me. Since I have this little ledge to camp on and the enemies spawn far away and they're distracted by Mr. Chu and Lilith, this part is really easy. I helped Ellie prepare the ship by getting an astronav chip. Turns out my invisibility lasts long enough to just ignore these guys. Where am I, you fucking dummies? You don't know! Now I can finally leave! Oh god, what now? God damn it, Lilith. Now I have to fight my way through a huge open area of these assholes. Where's Vaughn when you need him? Well, after only six deaths, I managed to figure out a good plan to slaughter the COV. Finally! Get me the fuck off this stupid, skag-infested, bandit-filled dumpster fire you call a planet. Triple digits, baby. Nah, fuck you, Lilith. I'm not doing any more missions. You can lick my robotic balls.